Hi, Lucretia. How are you? Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. It's really nice to see you. Thank you. Same here. Well, uh, I know today we're talking a little bit about why August is significant, particularly for black owned black business owners. Um, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about uh, a little bit about it. Yeah, I can say uh, since uh, 2004, um, uh, August has been recognized as the National Black Business Month. And it's just a way to support black business owners. I guess, you know, the way I look at it, the concept is simple. Support black business owners and organizations. Uh, it's just another uh, way to continue to showcase the resilience and the innovation of black businesses and how they contribute to the economic growth. Um, when I think about uh, the black U.S. travelers, they spend like at least over $1.4 billion in leisure travel. And so that accounts for about 13% of the tourism market. Now that number was from 2019. So as you can imagine as stuff with the demand of travel at this particular time, that growth is even more so. And so, you know, it's just a great way. And so Delta Vacation, we just feel is very important to make absolute sure that we're recognizing and supporting our travel professional of color in the industry. Yeah, so how, I mean, how does Delta Vacations have that recognition for the for those owners i mean is delta doing anything special for august is is they're doing anything to enable this community to just continue to grow usually what we do we highlight in our we put a, together a monthly dni newsletter and that's for the company world you know worldwide and so what we do we okay. showcase that information so for the month of august we'll highlight that that just gives our employees an opportunity to know to go out and support black businesses in their community. And so it's an opportunity for you to sort of, you know, know exactly and stuff like, you know, this is my my this is a great time for me to sort of go out there and really give them support and make an absolute sure that, you know, I am, you know, sort of contributing to their economic growth as well. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, how has Delta found the reaction both from its employees, like you mentioned, and from its consumers? Uh, what's sort of the response when you when you do take part in these kind of initiatives? Um, I can say I think and stuff, you know, the way that I, I have always looked at it and from the um, reaction and engagement that I receive, especially from the travel agency community, is that it really starts with your leadership. And because okay. Delta Airline, our parent company, has always had that messaging about doing business with diverse suppliers, uh, so it has always and stuff. It 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 just shows a meaningful uh, representation that does matter. And so when consumers, as well as our travel advisors, when they're looking to decide who they want to do business with, it just sort of resonates with them because they get to see that the company as a whole is showing their support for you know, the diversity, the equity, the inclusion. And as I said, Delta has never been shy about you know, making absolutely sure that that has been a message that they stand on. And especially as I said, you know, working with uh, diverse supplier partners as well as you know, promoting um, through our marketing material, through our you know, any, any, as you can see from marketing to video, yeah. that, that representation is out there. Yeah, and I know the uh, travel advisors are listening to us right now. Um, I'm curious, I mean, what do you hope they get out of the conversation we're having right now and also get out of recognizing what kind of impact this community can have in travel? Like you mentioned the stats in the beginning of this conversation, and it does seem that advisors should be aware that it's, this is a community that's going to be traveling more, this community that yes. they should be doing business with going forward. Exactly. And stuff. Um, for me, once again, and stuff, it just recognized that representation does matter. Okay. And so, you know, looking at August as being a month to recognize for their uh, support in their business, I think and stuff for, for the travel advisors, it's a great opportunity for them to see, as you said, the economic growth that, that is going towards the tourism industry. And it's just another as a, a great way and stuff for them to recognize and stuff that their business does matter and that you know any time and stuff that you can bring recognition the opportunity for them to see that you know that what they're doing out there is growing the economy and growing their business and building a relationship with a supplier partner you know uh as i always share with the travel advisor i work with 
when you think about the Delta Vacation brand, and you know it's a billion dollar brand, and so you're doing business with that, you're putting your logo next to that. So just having really truly that opportunity to know that you know they are working with a company and stuff that does recognize them, and I think that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, and I know uh, I've spoken to a lot of travel advisors too, and uh, that's something I hear from them too. This 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 wanting to to be more diverse, not only within their their own organization, their own agencies, but mm -hmm. wanting to be more diverse with their clients as well too. Yes, it does definitely and stuff as I have you know have seen and stuff over the years. Just that opportunity, just having that voice and stuff, and that's why you know for us it's important that we we do work with you know the Black Travel Expo the travel professional of colors and okay. also association of black travel professionals, because we want to make absolutely sure that they have a voice, you know, that is that. And we also, you know, make absolutely sure on our advisory board, because that gives that opportunity for us to know where do we need to make those improvements? You know, what do you need to see uh, in, in our marketing, you know, material that supports your, your agency and support your customer base, you know, so uh, I think when people travel, they want to know that they feel safe of traveling, you know, to an area that really and stuff will be receptive and receiving of them. And so I think when you, you know, that's something I think Delta and Delta Vacation has been able to project over time to really be able to showcase that to the travel advisor by making sure that, you know, our material is, ref you know, reflected of that as well. Uh, so any any time I think and stuff, you know, as I said, I think representation, you know, does matter. Yeah. And I know uh, the three organizations you mentioned, I, I've spoken to them and they've been really great. And I think it's a good resource, especially for new child advisors coming in the yeah. industry, yeah. considering membership there or considering support in some other way as well. Exactly. Um, um, so I know the next couple months are pretty big for Delta uh, Delta Vacations and, and their travel agency partners too. I know Delta Delta Vacation University is coming up pretty soon. Could you tell me a little bit about that? I mean, what what kind of event is that, and and where are you holding it this year? Yes, I guess it is a great opportunity because it is our premier educational training opportunity. So it's a great time for travel advisors, whether you are a novice in this industry or someone yeah. who's just starting out. Uh, what it offers, it will be September the 29th and 30th in Minneapolis. So we're really excited to be supporting, you know, another hub city for Delta. And it is just a great opportunity, not only for educational training, but networking, networking with travel, you know, um, other travel advisors, but also supplier partners. Uh, we will have uh, over 100 I think it's 150 plus of our supplier partners who will be there between the airlines as well as hotels, our destination management companies. And then we would do destination training classes where there's uh, updating you on how to, you know, promote Delta Vacation using our marketing hub, our world agent direct booking engine, give you opportunity to learn our booking tool, and then destination training classes. So we'll have supplier partners, our tourism board who will be uh, giving training classes on their destination. We are very excited that Curacao, which is the newest destination for Delta okay. Airlines, uh, I think starting December the 16th, they will be there with us as well to showcase their destination. It's, it's been 10 years since Delta has been in that area. So we're really excited that they're gonna be joining us as well to really promote and showcase. But uh, we, we really try to provide uh, training for destinations that maybe your client is asking for, but haven't had that opportunity to yeah. visit. So it gives you that chance because I always say and stuff, the best way to sell it is your own personal experience. And so that's what we want to give is that personal selling experience that they can go back and promote to their customers. Yeah, and I know we only have a little amount of time left, but you mentioned these destinations that are becoming more popular with, with yeah. travel agency clients. You mentioned Curacao. Is there any other destinations that uh, might be trending amongst Delta Vacations consumers? Yes, I can say Europe. Europe has been a big push and stuff. Uh, we're seeing more and more traffic and more customers wanting to go to Europe. Uh, Greece has been an exciting destination for us. Uh, so we're excited about Greece. New Zealand is on board as well. So that has been a great destination that people are excited about. Uh, that's going to uh, start flight service in October, uh, direct service. 
Also, too, we are looking forward to uh, uh, Africa, especially for uh, African-American travel advisors and their consumer base. They're looking at uh, Cape Town, South Africa is a great destination. Um, when they're talking about, you know, looking for something that offers a little bit of everything, we're talking yeah. about beaches, we winery, safaris. So, you know, you have the opportunity to have some great hotel accommodations at that location as well. So uh, South Africa has been a great destination that we're seeing a big push for growth. Uh, but I will say right now, probably Europe has been our biggest and most successful yeah. destination trending, uh, not only for, um, you know, because a lot of people are looking to take cruises out of those destinations as well. And okay. so we we promote our opportunity for pre and post for them to be able to join, you know, to travel to those destinations, have their accommodations and their air, and then they can head off for their cruise. Well, uh, yeah, well, first of all, Lucretia, thanks so much for taking the time uh, to talk to me today. It really was an important conversation, and I think something the industry can consider, continue to talk about going forward, too. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much. No, thank you for the opportunity. It's been a pleasure getting a chance to speak with you. So, thank you. Thank you. All righty.